Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Oh, right. I... <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. I think I'm ready to go now. Ugh, Allie. She's gonna be so awkward. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty- Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Honestly, the people, the other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. Are we planning to drive to Delos Crossing or put? No, really, I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I meant we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> 
At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. You still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. I can't accept this. I'm just not there yet. All right. You gonna mope about that for the rest of the day, or what? I just hoped you might make an effort, that's all. An effort? It's an effort not to punch something whenever you say his name. Can't you just cut him a break? He was doing the best he could with a truly shitty situation. Wrap everything up with a grand gesture and move on to our perfectly normal lives. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? It's so hey, weird being back on this boat. It's your truck. You do you. Same to you. Live and let live. Just a sticker. Enjoying the ride? I'm more of a dry land, firm ground kind of guy. I hear you, but this sure beats a city any day. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaska natives then. Clean kid, Haida. I haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, 
They get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off in the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. I think I'm gonna sit in the car for the rest of the ride. You sure? It's way more interesting out here. It smells better, too. Yeah, I'm good. After you. What was she doing out here that night? She did not like us using... Well, at least the tools are still here. That'll help with the repairs. She did not like us using her tools. She was... Well, at least the tools are still... Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Ugh. Add it to the shopping list. Hey, it's locked, all right. What was she doing out here that night? Come on, man. Stop thinking about that. I bet we left all kinds of cool things in there. I bet we left all kinds of cool things in there. I bet we left all kinds of cool things in there. <sighs> Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? Do you need a hand with that? Uh, no, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. I think I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. Should be something in here that'll work. 
I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. see the silent frog coming I'm coming what stop sulking I told you already I'm sorry no you're not <laughs> okay guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then what no I want to see I guess we know where to search now we just have to remember which one is the silent frog damn where's the key seriously kidding Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, bud. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Are you okay? What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. again after the goblins nope it was on the right my bad past the treasure straight, straight ahead. ahead you know i almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy me too
Marianne's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. This time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way! Wait for me! Now this... This feels like home. Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually. I need it back. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake. And she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Oh, I 
think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it. I'm sure. My life got a whole lot better when I stopped letting her set the terms. Okay, go ahead. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Oh, they used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? It's here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Are you really, really sure? What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word, was. But we need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. And then we found the book and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. I wanted to talk to you about that. But it never seemed like the right time. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. 
It was about me, not you. And making it about you is really not cool. Seriously? That's it? Seriously. Okay, then. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? Oh my god, Tyler. Really? What? Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. Maybe it did. Or maybe nothing's changed and we dig up that nightmare for no reason. So, it's not worth the risk to you? Not if it means throwing away all our plans. Your plans. It's your plan to sell the house. Your plan to go to Juno. Me? I'm just looking for some goddamn peace of mind. How about... We start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. Sounds good to me. Holly's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Nice ring. Gift from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one Eddie had made for you. You know, twins rings. Something like that. Oh, um... That's a little weird, but also kind of cool. I've still got it. Right here in my pocket. Uh, nice try. But not today. Maybe another time, though. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so much on my mind. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five se- You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. So... What are you doing here? Funny. Don't remember asking for your opinion on the subject. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? How well did you know? We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. Well, right, yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two.
So I'm guessing this is Michael. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as... Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. So we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Why do they have so many candles? Should I get the fancy scented ones? Sure. Let's class the joint up. Toasted marshmallow? If that doesn't make the house more welcoming, what will? You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Mm, organic's better. Got any big plans in Juno? Oh, yeah. Um, well, there's a passable cooking school there. I'm gonna be a chef. Oh. Hey, Tyler. Candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Mm, I'll take the chips. <laughs> Remember how we would stage sit-ins at the candy aisle? What do we want? Candy corn! When do we want it? Before we go home! Ugh, candy corn. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picking. Grape soda it is. Ooh, getting wild. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Will that be all? Yes. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here?
Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No. There's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Please, let's just be. talk... I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want. But don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... My God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? A ten-letter word for culmination. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier, you said Marianne kept everything to herself. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> Should we check this one out? Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. You know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. 
I'm fine. Mary Ann. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something else. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. Is there something I can do for you? Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? I think we've got a good sense of the situation. It's time to confront her. All right. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't... Remember the day she was supposed to help you get ready for Bible study? I really have no idea what you're talking about, and I was never cruel to Marianne. I did everything I could to help her, to help you all. Even when she fought me, even when she screamed and spit in my face for the effort. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain. I think... Marianne really was trying to... Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos... Damn, they still got this creepy... Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. Freezing in here. Tyler, you coming? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Did Brown just flat out ignore me? Um, I didn't notice. But I mean, he's probably feeling awkward since, you know, you didn't take his gift. Great. He's making it weird. Okay, let's go in. You okay? Yeah, this corridor just creeps me out when it's dark. You think they'll mind if I take one? How is this still warm? You sure you want... I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? It's the first time I've wow. been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vape. Here.
damn it. Oh. Sorry. Huh. They kept this? What? Huh. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest, hunting for goblin treasure. Just wanted to be anywhere but here. Yeah. This is heavier than I expected. separate us. Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep Deep part of my brain. Same here. Hey, sorry that took so long. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior? Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. 